We all know Liverpool is the home of rock and roll, but what people don't know is that it started here, in the basement of this unlikely suburban house. This is one of the country's best kept secrets, and it's all thanks to a young woman called Mona, who, in 1947, was determined to buy this her dream home. Mona pawned all her jewellery, and she betted on a horse called Never Say Die, which won. So not only was she able to get her jewellery back, but she was able to put a deposit down on this house. Little did she know that her lucky bet would change the face of musical history forever and the lives of teenagers everywhere. One night while watching the telly, Mona saw a documentary about the Two Eyes Coffee Bar in London, which became a popular place for new rock and roll bands to play. Mona asked her two sons if there was anything like this in Liverpool for the kids. And when they said there wasn't, she decided there and then to turn the cellar of the house into a club. The house is still owned by Mona's youngest son, Rogue. So who was the first group that played here? Well, the first group that nearly played here uh, was the Les Stewart Quartet. But the band splits up with two members basically wanted to put another band together. So, where did this uh, first band play? Through here, Rick, come on. In here? In here. This is the original stage here. <laughs> group used to be set up there. So the new group that's been formed for the opening night, uh, George Harrison, ah. John Lennon, Paul McCartney. So you're telling me McCartney and Lennon actually started there, on that little stage there? Yeah, that's, that's where it all began for them. And uh, this is one of the earliest photographs of the boys playing together. On the 29th of August, 1959, at 7pm, there was 3,000 people walking along this quiet residential street to get into the first rock and roll club in Liverpool. And on the first night on the stage, John Lennon shouted to the crowds, Hi everyone, welcome to the Casbah. We are the Quarrymen, and we're here to play you some rock and roll music. The Quarrymen were resident here for 13 weeks before they shot off to Hamburg in Germany, but they changed the name then to the Silver Beatles. And the lineup then was uh, John, Paul, George, and Mona's son. Pete Best. Hello, Pete, how are you, kid? Pete Best was the first drummer, later to be replaced by Ringo Starr. Their tour to Hamburg started brilliantly, but ended rather abruptly when Paul and Pete got deported and George got kicked out of the clubs for being too young. So they returned to Liverpool, where it all began. 19th of December, 1960. The place was absolutely packed. You could not move. They were out in the car park, they were in the courtyard, they were in the garden. They heard about the Beatles. We came down, the crowd was buzzing. There's furor going on. Absolutely buzzing. You could feel it, you could slice it. It was like, oh, let's get in there, you know. Paul kicked it off. Quiet. This crowd had gone from to basically like silence. And we looked at one another. What the hell is going on? Last couple of bars. Mac has given it everything he's got. All the lads are playing all the tricks, looking at the girls, stamping the feet. As we come to the closing bars, this rumble started. The crowd took off. Like the roof went off the place. Smoke, there was sweat, there were girls crying. Girls with the beehive hairstyles all sweating down, hair dropped by the side of their hair. Absolutely incredible. That particular night made history. It was the start of Beatlemania. That was it, yeah? That was it. That was the kickoff. And it all started here in the Casbah, they kid. This humble little club. And it is little. It's not the size. It's the atmosphere. Come here. Come on. See this? Yeah. John, I'm back. <laughs> and by God, was he. <laughs> he left a lasting impression. This is where it all started. 
this is where the lads first played. And yeah, less than one year later, they were entertaining 73 million Americans on the Ed Sullivan Show. That's not bad for four young lads from Liverpool. I wonder how the neighbours felt about that basement <laughs> on a Saturday night. <laughs>